Hello team, welcome back. In the last lecture, we have discussed about the job DSL overview and today we will see the job DSL demo. So I will create a DSL file, then I will see how we can execute the DSL file and how that particular DSL file will create a Jenkins job which will execute a particular project. So let's start with. Before starting with the DSL file, first let's discuss about the seed job. When we are using the DSL, then there's a most important term is seed job, which is used to create the configurable job with the help of the DSL code script. So team, the seed job is used by the DSL job plugin to create the Jenkins configurable job. So first we need to create the seed job. That seed job is also a Jenkins job, which will be used to execute the DSL script, your code script and generate the new job, which is the target project. So basically to create the job automatically inside the Jenkins, we need to create a seed job. That seed job will accept your code as a parameter and, and create a new project accordingly as defined inside your code. The seed job is a normal freestyle project. Seed job could not be pipeline, multi-configuration or multi-label project. That should be the freestyle project that will add the process job DSL build step, right? This step takes the DSL and generate the configurable job. So let's see how we can create the seed job, what could be the DSL file and how we can create the new job with the help of the DSL. So team over here, I'm on my Jenkins. I will log into my Jenkins. And I have these jobs on my Jenkins server. So if we will open the first Maven project. Let's open this project. And let's see what this particular project is doing. So this project is producing a jar file named single module project. Remember we have executed this particular project, right? If we will go to the configuration, then we have defined the description. We have defined the source code management and it is taking the source code management from my GitHub repository Jenkins underscore upgrade V3 master branch. You can see the source code repository is here. Jenkins upgrade V3 and this is the master branch, right? After this, it is executing the build triggers and inside the build trigger, we have a poll SCM and poll SCM is polling the source code in every minute. Then we have the build steps inside which we have defined the Maven local version. We have defined the goals, clean package and inside the advanced, we have defined the pom.xml file path. The pom.xml file is present at Maven sample, single module and pom.xml. This is this particular path. Once you will check out the project, this will open the Maven sample inside the Maven sample. I have the single module. Let me open this. So the path is my project. It will check out the Maven sample inside the Maven sample. I have the single module and inside the single module. I have the pom.xml file. We have already discussed about it in the last lectures when we was configuring this job, right? So this is the same path. Now what we are doing, we are archiving the artifact. So we need to create the similar job with the help of the DSL. So what all I need to do, I need to mention all these step as a code inside my code file and create a seed job to execute that particular code file. So let's see how we can do that. Let me go to the project. And over here, I have already created the code file. So this is the groovy file, right? So team, the groovy file name is maven project dsl dot groovy. And this file I have created in the same project Jenkins v3, right? Over here, first I'm defining the job. This will create the job and over here I need to define the name. So the name of your job, whatever the name you want to put your job, you can define your name over here inside the job function. This function is defining and this function have the subcategory description. And over here I'm defining the description like first Maven job generated by the DSL. Over here I'm taking the current date and then appending the text, the project is a small Maven project hosted on the GitHub. Then after this, to check out the code from the SCM, let me open that job configuration again. So in the first parameter, first Maven project by DSL, this should be my job name, which is currently first Maven project. Now inside the description over here, we have the description inside the description. I'm defining this description. If you are aware with the groovy, then this is very simple for you. If you're not aware with the groovy, then that then don't worry in the groovy. We can simply define the functions like this and the steps like this, right? Then after the job description, I'm mentioning the source code management. So over here, I'm defining the SCM. Now the question is how we can identify that we need to define the SCM. 
why I'm not defining the source code management over here. So the Jenkins job DSL have their own naming convention. If you are worried about the naming convention, you can go to the documentation and documentation is present at this particular location. You need to define Jenkins CI dot GitHub IO job DSL plugin and over here you are getting the complete documentation. What kind of parameter you can use? You can see over here we have the job function which we have used and we are getting the complete example over here. We can define the example then SCM to define the Git code repository. We need to define the SCM to define the build triggers option. We need to define the triggers. Then we can define the steps to define the steps and the publisher and inside the publisher. I can define the published step. So over here you will get a very lengthy document. You can go through this particular document if you want, right? I will paste this particular document link in the next lecture. So let's go to the DSL again. Then I'm defining the SCM and inside the SCM I'm checking out the code which I'm checking out inside my job. And over here you can see we are defining the same GitHub repository, right? And we are defining the master branch. So in the DSL, we have defined the branches master. Now we are defining the trigger options inside the trigger option. I'm defining the SCM source code management and it will pull the source code management every minute over here. I'm defining the regular expressions, right? Then I need to define the steps inside the steps. We need to define the build options. See, see the build steps is invoke top level Maven target defining the Maven version and goal. So over here, I'm defining the steps maven this will invoke the top level maven target defining the steps which i want to execute on my maven project and where is my pom.xml file right which i'm defining in the job in the advanced options and after this i'm defining the post build action over here i'm archiving the artifact at this particular location so same i have been defined over here like publisher inside the publisher archive artifacts and define this and as I told you these tags you can get from the official Jenkins job plugin documentation, right? Now let's do one thing. Let's check in this code And you can see this file is being checked in maven project DSL groovy, right? Now I will go to my Jenkins and I will create a seed job So go to the new item And I will name like maven seed job this will be the name of my seed job. It will be a freestyle project. Click on OK button. Inside the source code management, I will define the git and from which location I want to download my DSL file at this particular location, right? So I will go to the HTTPS URL. I will copy this. Define inside my seed job, the branch is master branch. No credential required because it is a public repository. Now inside the build options, you will get an option process job DSL. Click this option, right? Process job DSL and you will and you will get this particular screen. Over here, I need to define my DSL script path. So my path is at the root directory, but the DSL name is this. So I will define this name. Copy this particular file name and paste it here. Just save your project. Now you can execute this particular project Maven seed job to create your Maven job automatically. You can see right now we have the you can see right now we don't have the job like first underscore Maven underscore project dot DSL. But once we will execute this job the D the seed job it will create a job automatically. Let's execute this and I know this will fail at first time. I will show you why it is failing then we will resolve that. So I clicked on the build options and you can see the job got failed. Let's open the console output of the job and we are getting the message like processing the DSL script Maven project DSL groovy. It means it is able to find out the DSL script, but error is a script is not approved for use. It means the script the DSL script which I want to execute. I need to approve that right? So for the security reasons the job DSL plugin has this limitation and which is very good because if the DSL if the script approval is not required then developers can execute anything on the Jenkins server right to approve the script I need to go to the manage Jenkins inside the manage Jenkins just scroll down a bit and you will and you will get an option like in process script approval we are getting a message as well one script pending approval click this 
and over here you are getting the same script for the approval i will approve this go to the jenkins go to my seed job and execute it again and you can see build is green now if i will open the build console we will get a message like added items job generated name first maven project by dsl let's see this job is generated or not we will go to the jenkins and see first maven project by dsl is being generated if i will open this particular job the first job got failed and if you will go to the configuration of the job then you can see we are getting the project name like first maven project by dsl the same we have defined inside the code file right then we are getting the right then we are getting the description and description is first maven job generated by dsl on wednesday november 6 we are getting the complete timestamp the project is a small maven project the same description we have mentioned over here if you will open the configuration then we have defined the scm and scm we are getting over here git github okay we have defined the incorrect scm over here we need to define the https scm over here because for this i will go to this particular project copy the source code of https replace this source code right because jenkins don't work with the github url that is specific to the that is specific to the git terminal so i need to update this url i will save this and i will commit this file again once you commit the file you need to go to the main seed job and again execute build now option and once you will execute this you will find go to the manage jenkins see and over here you can see one script approval pending so whenever you will change anything inside your script you need to approve that again right i will approve this go to the seed job and again execute this particular job build now now you can see the build 6 is green i will go to the jenkins go to my project first maven project by dsl go to the configuration and over here you can see the github url is being changed right and i'm taking the source code from the master over here i'm pulling the scm every minute then it is defining the maven version default and few goals clean package inside the advance you can see it is defining the complete path and then we are getting the archival as well i will save this job now let's execute the build again so i will click on build now option and you can see the build is triggered i will open the build go to the console output and over here you can see it has checked out my project now it has executed the test case as defined in the pom.xml file three test total executed and it has archived the artifacts if i will go to the build then you can see the single module project jar is being archived so this is the way how we can create the jenkins job with the help of the dsl so team is a so team it's a very beneficial right now we are just uh, getting this particular example with the help of a sample program so so it may seems less important but in actual when you are working in the organization and you are working with the multiple releases right and you want a specific build for every release then in that case dsl is very helpful because if you are working on 11 or 12 of releases and you have a thousand of jobs of every release so it will be very difficult to copy all of the jobs for all of the releases right in that case you can simply create the dsl and that dsl will create the job for your release within a single click you don't need to copy paste the manual things inside your job so team infrastructure as a code or the jenkins job dsl is very helpful when we are working in the actual devops era so thank you team thanks for your time